So the last few weeks have been really fun. I had to spend a full week and an extra couple of days just messing around in CAD to get all the parts that we need designed properly so that they would work together across the full range of motion of the robot. And that was really, uh, I learned a ton, so it was really interesting and all the parts ended up working out more or less really well. <laughs> And then printing took like a full week of printing, just resetting, leveling out the bed, printing all the parts and getting them, um, you know, smoothed up and put together properly. And then finally I got to uh, hook up some wires, make like a test jig that I could hang the legs from and, uh, and power them and then send some commands to them. So I wrote a little bit of software on the Arduino and on my computer that would send the commands through USB onto the Arduino to say, hey, move this knee up and down, move that wheel forward and backward. Um, it was a really cool process and I'm excited to share that with you. I'm Josh Whitman, CEO of Whitman Technological. So last time we made the feet and that was really cool. We put them together using A2 Plus in FreeCAD and that was really neat. You can take like, hey, uh, the center axis of these two holes needs to match up. Uh, these two surfaces are gonna be coplanar. And in choosing the assembly mechanism for the knees, I had to do a lot more thinking about the exact arrangement of the different components. Because we're using a linear actuator, we know the actuator has a certain uh, minimum length when it's fully retracted, and we know that it's 100 millimeters to the maximum length. So we needed to design for the physical size of the actuator, as well as that exact difference in distance needed to come across as the uh, correct change in angle of the knee joint. So it was a very complicated arrangement and trying to do it in my head and make it work properly was a challenge that I was falling very short on. So uh, choosing the right assembly workbench was really important and I upgraded to FreeCAD 19 or 0 0.19 and uh, I started with assembly 4 and you have to design these like local um, spatial reference points and then you uh, you connect them to each other. And I was like, this seems really heavy handed. So then I went to assembly three where you go back to like the coplanar and coaxial kind of restraints to uh, assemble things together. And then I hopped back into A2 plus and it was similar to assembly three with those same kinds of restraints. And I was like, man, I'm just not getting it. And eventually I found the forum post from the author of assembly four, at least I believe it's the author of assembly four explaining how you're supposed to be thinking when you're using the assembly for workbench. And the idea is you start by sketching the movement. And so I said, okay, I've got a line coming in from the foot and then I've got like uh, a couple little segments and then there's an angle here and that's the knee angle. And then I have a line going up and that's the femur. And then I have a line coming in and that's the fixed minimum length of the actuator. And then the entire uh, sketch is hooked up to a variable, which is the angle of the knee. And so I, I set um, the angle where the knee is uh, opening and closing. Um, and then I can change the value of that variable. And then there's an animate button that lets you set up minimum and maximum values for that variable. And then you can either push play and it will do a linear progression from the minimum to the maximum, or you can drag a slider back and forth. And that allows me to see as it stands up and sits down, um, I can see the movement of the arrangement. So now that I've got the arrangement in place, I can adjust the different positions of the points and then see when it's fully standing up, do I get 100 millimeters of full length, you know, at the right knee angle? And then when it's fully collapsed, do I get zero millimeters of the, the length of the actuator um, when it's all the way sitting down? And then, you know, is this going to intersect with the joint of the knee so that 
um, the, the, the things are going to bind up against each other and break when it actually operates and, and then move the pieces. And um, it was really cool. So assembly four really kind of makes you think about, you know, what is going to be moving first. And then as you start designing the parts around, you know, they said in the forum post, design the pieces that for sure you know what they're going to be like first and then slowly design more and more pieces around that and then the cool thing is you can go back and change the piece um, at any time so that oh hey i want to change the size of this or these dimensions need to adjust then you can go back and kind of tweak them so the more work you do up front in assembly four to arrange everything properly the less work you you do reworking your parts as you have to change things free cat again super awesome what a great piece of software and once i had that that component in place that understanding i was able to design all the different pieces and then send them off to the printer cad time lapse in three two one Papa had a metal plate from his time served in the war He used to pick up radio waves that he said were from the future As little children we would gather round to us he was a giant But when it came to taking medicine the man was non-compliant He'd tell me, hey, what would you say if I could build a little vessel that could take us to another time and place What would you say if the burning of the engines could be powered by the smile on your face What will you say? Will you follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me round the way? He'd laugh and say, but I'm too tired for that one today He'd take us fishing at the local dam We would bike down from his house Telling stories of a captain he knew from his travels to the past The cannonballs and muskets and the weapons they used Were anything but modern So grab a rock grenades and proximity mines Together they ran the ocean He'd tell us, wait, what would you say? If I could build a little vessel that could take us to another time and place What would you say? If the burning of the engines could be powered by the smile on your face So we finished with CAD and we finished with the print and I put all the pieces together. So then I took it and I just bolted it onto a board so the two legs are next to each other. Um, it's like a test jig 
And then I wrote a little bit of code in Arduino to put onto the chip that would send the commands to the H bridges to um, raise and lower the knees and to spin the wheels forwards and backwards. So in the midst of all of this design and development, I'm still getting phone calls from my customers that have like questions about, hey, you know, I got a payment needs to go out a certain way, a statement needs to look a certain way. And I'm doing all my customer support for Moneylender. I also, there was a big gap between the previous video and the one before it because I spent so much time developing uh, a tool that helps with uh, these loan modifications because of the coronavirus. Um, a lot of lenders are letting people skip their payments for a period of time. And I built a tool in Moneylender that makes that really easy. So, um, you know, that that's something that takes, you know, it took me three weeks to build that and it set my video schedule back a little bit. But, um, you know, Moneylender really is paying the bills for this project. And if you or someone you know is, um, is uh, lending money to people and managing those loans, is collecting on loans, has a business related to lending or investing with interest rate and, and scheduled payments, check out Money Lender Professional. It is the coolest piece of software. If you want to continue this journey with me, subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a like on this video if you want more people to find it. Um, it, it really is fun for me to see somebody say, yeah, I want to I wanna follow along. Like, Let this show up in my video feed so next time this guy like does some random robot nonsense. Like I want to check it out. Like that feels really good to me. And, um, you know, tells me that I'm, I'm doing something that's worthwhile that people find interesting. I have a really cool project I'm doing for the next video. It's like, um, uh, internet of things device that's going to help me remember never to skip the, the payments that I have to do for auto pay every day. And, uh, it's cool. It's Arduino driven. It's hooked up to Wi-Fi. It makes sounds and lights and cool stuff. And we'll have the opportunity to create our own circuit board as part of the process and do some, some uh, milling into acrylic. And uh, it should be really fun. So, you know, um, stick around and you know, I'll see you in a few weeks when that video is done. So, thanks for watching. I'm Josh Whitman with Whitman Technological. I love science and I hope you do too.